What can I include in the bibliography? Remember that you can include the following references already cited in your paper. Books by one or more authors, articles in journals, chapters in books, edited books, republished books, encyclopedias, dictionaries and online resources. I'd like you now to study the following examples and answer the questions below. What type of reference is it? And what is the structure of these entries? Please consider the following slide as well, because this slide is focused on the MLA style, and pay attention to the differences between MLA and APA styles. So I study this slide now on MLA. And appreciate now the differences with APA style. What differences have you found between the MLA and APA styles? After having discussed them with your partner, you may have noticed that the MLA style, for example, uses the author's information in full, while the APA style only includes the surname followed by the author's initial. Also, the MLA style includes the chapter of a book or the article of a journal between quotation marks, as in the first case, writing about the movies. If you look at the following example, you will see that this chapter of a book is not included between quotation marks for the APA style. Another difference that you may have distinguished is that MLA style includes uh, capital letters for every one of uh, the content words included in a title. So in the first situation you will see a short guide writing about film in capital letters, but APA style does not. Another important distinction between MLA and APA style is the location of the year of publication. You will see that MLA style puts the year of publication after the publishing house, after Longman, comma, and then 2003, while APA style places the year of publication after the author's information, after the initial T. So this first entry was a chapter of a book. The second reference is a book, okay? And you can also see the differences between MLA and APA. In the first case, we have Honkinson, comma, Tom, full stop. So we have the full information of the author, then we have the title of the book in italics and every one of the content words is capitalized. So we have how be idle. After the title of the book, you have another full stop, the place of publication, New York, a colon, the publishing house, Harper, a coma, and then the year of publication, 2005 and another full stop. An MLA style also includes the medium of publication. It can be either print or web. APA, APA style, on the other hand, includes the surname of the author, a coma, the initial, full stop, the year of publication 2005 between brackets, 
another full stop. The title of the book with only the first word in capital letters and in italics. Another full stop. The place of publication, colon, and the publishing house. So according to the MLA style, if you want to cite the title of a book, for example, you may follow this structure. The last name of the author, comma, first name, full stop, title of the book in italics with content words capitalized, full stop, place of publication, colon, publisher, comma, year of publication, full stop, and medium of publication. Remember that it could be print or web. If, on the other hand, you want to cite a, an article from a journal or a chapter in a book, you would include again the author's information, that's name, comma, first name, full stop, the title of the article between uh, quotation marks, the title of the journal in italics, the volume, full stop, and the issue with no space, then a space, the year of publication between brackets, colon, the pages, full stop, and the medium of publication. You can see here two examples of each entry. So the first entry by Henley Patricia, The Hummingbird House, Denver, McMurray, 1999, print, is a book. While the second entry, Duval, John, N, the supermarket place of images, television as unmediated mediation in the Lila's white noise, Arizona, quarterly, 50.3, 1994, 127.53, print, is an article in an academic journal. Let's study now the structure of the APA style. If you want to cite, for example, a book, remember that you should include the author's surname first, comma, the author's initial, full stop, brackets, the year of publication, brackets, full stop, the title of the book with only the first uh, word capitalized, full stop, the place of publication, colon, and the publisher, full stop. If, on the other hand, you want to cite uh, an article in a journal, you should include again the author's information, starting with the surname, comma, initials, full stop, comma. If you have more than one author, you will do the same. After the initial, you should include the year of publication between brackets, full stop, the title of the article with no quotation marks, full stop, the title of the journal, comma, the volume number, in italics and between brackets the issue number you close your brackets comma and finally the pages you can now see the examples of the APA style in the first situation you have an example of a book published in 1991 by two different authors the second entry is an article in a journal published in 1983 by the Journal of Comparative and Physiological Psychology. And the third example is another article in a journal published in 1996. But here you can see that 15 refers to the volume and 30 to the issue number. Please pay attention to 15 because the volume goes in italics as the uh, name of the journal.
you should now take some time to study this slide to appreciate the differences between MLA and APA with regard to edited books. As you can see, the editing information on the first case goes straight away after the title of the book, Jane Eyre. So Jane Eyre in italics, full stop, ED for editor, full stop, the name of the editor, Margaret Smith, full stop, and the rest of the information that you normally follow for MLA. In the second example, you have the APA style and the editor's information goes here at the very beginning because they are the editors of the book. Okay, so here you have the name of the editors first and between brackets you should write EDS for editors, full stop, close your brackets and again full stop. Another type of reference that you can also include in your bibliography is an online reference and there are also some differences between the MLA and the APA style. If you pay attention, for example, to the first entry, you have the name of the website in italics at the very beginning, followed by a full stop, then you have the section uh, that has been used for this uh, reference, the writing lab. Then you have a comma and the year of publication, full stop. The medium of reference, which is a web, full stop. And the last date is probably the date it was last accessed, which is the 23rd of April 2008. The second reference follows the same structure that done an article in a journal. So you have the author's information, full stop, the, the title of the article between bracket, between quotation marks, full stop. Then you have the title of the journal in italics, the volume, the issue, the year of publication, the number of pages, if you have them, the type of source, so it is a web, and finally, the, um, the date it was last accessed, which is the 20th of May 2009. On the other hand, if you study the online resources according to APA, you can see that they follow the same structure than any other um, resource. But a, a, a very important difference between MLA and APA is that APA prefers including the website. Okay, so they normally finish the, the entry with retrieved from and then the website reference, while MLA style does not include the website. Okay, but if you, for example, pay attention to the second entry, Bernstein, comma, M, you have the normal structure of the APA style. Author's information, full stop, year of publication between brackets, full stop. Then you have the title of the article. Then you have the title of the web in italics, comma, uh, the volume, and then retrieved from. We are now in the conclusion of this presentation about the academic paper and the bibliography in which you have learned about the use and structure of an academic paper. Please make sure to do some further reading suggested in the following slide. Thank you very much for your attention once again and have a good day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.